Now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast. Speaking of the cold, bringing in meteorologist Andrew Salmon for a peek out our windows. Uh, already see some rain on the radar in our area. Uh, yeah, we're tracking some showers, even a couple of rumbles of thunder with this cold air that is moving through. Let's take a look by taking a wide view here of what's going on across the southern plains. And you can see the blue there. That is all snow in the Texas Panhandle and in western Oklahoma right now. Some snow also extends up towards Kansas through Missouri all the way up to Iowa and Minnesota uh, this morning. But here in East Texas, the snow stays far away from us. We just have a cold rain moving on through and a couple of cold thunderstorms as well crossing through Angelina County at this moment, moving into San Augustine County. The city of San Augustine be on the lookout for some thunder showers over the next couple of minutes here. We also have some showers developing at the county line of Cherokee and Russ County and more showers, especially in our northwestern most areas from Athens up towards the Sulphur Springs area. So we will continue to see these shower chances as we head throughout the remainder of today. We'll pause the future cast at one o'clock this afternoon. You can see the rain uh, pretty widespread across the area. Not many breaks in this uh, rainfall, for, but there will be from time to time. By four o'clock this afternoon, we can still track some showers and thunderstorms across the area indicated by the darker reds there that you see on future cast. So a few, couple of lightning strikes certainly not out of the question. The good news is severe weather is not expected. Now towards six, seven o'clock, the showers and storms will continue to push off to the east. By six o'clock, we're starting to dry out in places like Athens, uh, down to Palestine, and also up towards Sulphur Springs as well, with rain continuing from Marshall down to uh, Center and Carthage. And then by eight, nine o'clock, the rain will push off to our east, and we'll be left with a lot of clouds through the rest of tonight and into two years day on a Thursday. So rain comes to an end entirely by around nine o'clock uh, tonight and then we'll be dry really for the next couple of days before today. High temperatures only climb to the low to mid 40s in northern areas and then into the upper 40s to low 50s as we head into this afternoon. Right now we're at 41 in Gilmer, 44 in Tyler, 48 in Jacksonville, a bit warmer in Crockett at 50, 49 degrees in Lufkin. 43 in Marshall. And like I mentioned, uh, we are seeing temperatures about the same as this time yesterday, but we're only going to warm up a little bit more from here. So high temperatures overall this afternoon look to uh, be a little bit cooler than yesterday due to the clouds and a strong northeast wind at around 15 miles per hour. Over the next seven days, temperature wise, we are actually going to be below average for this time of year. The normal high is 68 degrees, but no 60s on the board, just 40s and 50s for the next seven days. So it is certainly going to be a cold one this week. But to recap for today, rain is likely with highs only in the middle to upper 40s and a strong northeast wind. For tonight, we drop down to the upper 30s. Rain before 9 o'clock. After that, things are drying out across the area. Your seven-day forecast looks like this. We are going to see wind gusts up to 20 miles per hour tomorrow as things dry out. It still stays cold for the remainder of this week and into the weekend. And then for deep east Texas, it is more of the same, although we can't rule out some isolated showers by the day on Saturday. For your latest weather forecast, you can go on over to our website.